It's no secret that some One Piece characters smell like flowers and citrus and some reek of straight up shit. So in this video, I'll be going over whether these 12 characters wash their ass or not. There's one person in the maybe category and if you can guess it right, then you may be a bee. A beautiful person. Alright, that's enough glazing. On to the first person, Dofi. Now since Dofi is a celestial dragon, he spent the earlier years of his childhood living like royalty. Drinking royal tea until his dad spilled the tea of his lineage. During those child years, Dofi was taught to keep himself clean. And you know what they say, old habits die like his dad. Dofi kept up his scrubbing routines by showering whenever he can, even with the occasional bloodbath. <laughs> To be even more specific, he uses the string string fruit to pull apart his cheeks and has the toy slave cleanse the hiney of her highness. Which is why I decree that Dofi uses soap to attack his crack. And Gecko Moria laughs like he's been smoking crack. So let's talk about him. Taking one step into Thriller Bark, you'll notice a few things. The talking trees, these breedable creatures, and the smell of rotting flesh. Since Moria was born with a tiny nose, he doesn't really notice the smell, which is why he's never felt the need to shower, ever. The most he'll do if he's feeling dirty is summon those bricked up bats to lick him clean. And his even darker secret is he has them lick his third horn when he's feeling lonely. But sadly, even his shadows refuse to clean his ass. So I can confidently say Gecko Moria smells worse than the cavemen during Pangea. But let's move on to Elogia and talk about Mr. Aokiji. Now this man works up a sweat by cycling across the ocean. Fun fact, cycling across the ocean is also the name for when the sea beasts sink up their period. They be making an underwater red line. Anyways, after a hard workout, Kuzan likes to stay clean. We've even seen him in the bathhouse during film Z. And for those of you saying that this isn't canon, well neither is this because it's a Columbiad. Plus, he can use his devil fruit to take ice cold baths. Do not ask him about this though because he won't shut up about the benefits of cold showers. So don't get it twisted. Aokiji washes his body everywhere that's not omitted. And I wish we could omit characters like Waffle D. Munch from the series, but somehow he's still relevant. Waffle has gone through it all. His villain arc, rags to riches, redemption moment, but one thing remained consistent in all of this. He never shat. Because he ate the Munch Munch fruit, Waffle has become a D1 eater that never gets full. And because the food never gets digested, he's never had a bowel movement or any movement at all considering his squirkle body shape. But this means he's never felt the need to wash it down there. So even though his lavish lifestyle allowed him access to clean water filtered from sea beast blood, he never felt the need to soak his buns. And buns are a type of bread, just like the tortilla in tacos. Where am I getting with this? Okay, fine, I'll admit it. I slipped it into Jimbei's gills, his fish tacos, but I had to. There's no way I'd go near his blue starfish. It smells worse than Davy Jones' locker. You know, for someone who spends most of his time under the water, you'd think Jimbei would be cleaner. But this is precisely the problem. Since he's always wet, Jimbei has never felt the need to shower, which results in him having one of the fishiest smelling orifices I've ever encountered. Surprisingly, Jimbei's harpoon holder isn't the fishiest poon I've smelled. There was that one girl in college. But overall, the first son of the sea does not clean out his feces. Let's stay wet and wild and talk about water, the law. Now you'd think this one would be pretty obvious since Law is a doctor and they're known to have good hygiene. And while you may be correct, I am erect. Sorry, I was still thinking about Jimbei's fish tacos. While you may be correct, he doesn't shower often since the polar tang has no built-in showers, which means he can only clean himself when they stop at an island. So most of the time, him and his crew are sweating like me when I get asked what type of One Piece content I make. But you know what? I won't count that against him, mainly because I can't count. We can safely say that Law showers his mud curtains behind the curtains. Speaking of curtains, Nico Robin always has to use them to avoid being spied on by that peeping fuck Sanji. This should be no surprise, but my sun-kissed queen keeps it clean. Robin is one of the best smelling characters in the show. She smells like a mix of flowers, cinnamon, and sex. One thing about me is I'm a sucker for flowers. I don't know what this one is called, but it's my favorite. And Robin keeps her hidden flower clean while she showers. Using her devil fruit, she can soap every part of her body so she's spotless. In fact, she exfoliated her body so much that her skin became lighter over the time skip. Easiest placement in this video, Robin's got a clean gyat and turned white for the plot. And our fearless leopard has also returned to the plot recently. This was filmed at the time of Egghead. If you're watching in the future, then you can suck my kabuto goofy ah now here's the thing 
And here's the thing about Rob Lucci. He does shower, but only after Annie's lobby. Before then, Rob Lucci would go into leopard form and lick himself clean. A natural occurrence in the animal kingdom. Just like the sinking of the sea beast periods. But after Califa ate the soap soap fruit, she forced each member of the group to shower so she could put her soap bubbles to good use. Rob Lucci was forced to become the thing he'd never get. A wet pussy. The Gucci man gets a pass on his ass. And I'm gonna pass on the torch to Caribou. Now the answer to whether Caribou cleans his pirate booty may surprise you and that answer is no wait what oh you see the logical answer is that he doesn't but since i said it may surprise you you expected a yes to which i surprised you again by saying no you see this is my perfect victory that's right i win and caribou wins the award for being one of the worst smelling characters on here his swampy ass could never be cleaned even with a shower so my boo caribou is getting booed off stage for his putrid stench the only thing stronger smelling is kaido reeking of alcohol so let's talk about his son, Yamato. Since Kaido imprisoned her in a cell with no shower, she had to use a Rob Lucci method of cleaning herself with her wolf tongue. But when she was free, Yamato jumped in that bathtub faster than me jumping in the ocean when the sea beasts are synced up. Also, she uses her bagua as a loofah and scrubs the hard to reach areas, which is why I can confidently say her gluteus maximus has been scrubbiest. I know that's not a real word, but who are you to judge me? You're not judge and it's hard for me to judge whether Vince Moke Judge washes his tushy. On the one hand, he's part of a royal family, and as we've discussed, they're shower fiends. But on the other hand, he's really into robots and body modifications. Although it's not confirmed if he had a robot body, I'd be surprised if he didn't mod himself. Like maybe he installed an incinerator in his stomach that converts the unused food to fuel. Or maybe he followed in Frankie's footsteps and installed a cum drain. I go over this more in my previous video, which I'll link in the description. But because we can confirm this, this, I'll be the judge of judge and give him a maybe on the wash care of his derriere. Okay, last character on the list, we've got the warden of Impel Down Bad, Magellan. Now he's another tricky character to place. We know that he joins prisoners when they take showers. And if he's with Buggy the Clown, Magellan is gonna make sure Buggy picks up the soap from the floor. And while he does spend a good portion of his shift in the shower, he spends the rest of his duty making duty. As you know, Magellan expels his guts for 10 hours every day. In fact, level seven of Impel Down is being in the same bathroom with him as he creates this toxic waste. So although our beloved warden often showers, the smell from his chocolate starfish takes priority and he is not getting the pass. And you need to make it a priority to like and comment on this video. Did you guess the right character? How many brain cells did you lose while watching this? Have you washed your ass recently? But most importantly, don't forget to substitute my videos for a therapy session and you can can continue to dissociate once you subscribe for more One Piece and anime content. Bye bye!